Hello and welcome back to the Coach's Legacy channel. In this video, we're going to explore how to automate logins with Scrapey. You might be wondering why exactly we need to automate logins with Scrapey. Well, that's because sometimes the data that we want to scrape is hidden behind a login screen. We need to first log into that website before we can actually view that data. So it makes sense. You need to first log in and then extract the data. Luckily, Scrapey offers us some good features that we can take advantage of and easily automate a login. I'm going to be practicing on this website right here. All right, quotes to scrape. It has a login feature, a login page over here. See, and we're going to practice logging into this page and automating the process. All right. So the first thing that you need to do is identify the login page. All right. These are the steps. First, identify the login page. All right. So I can see over here that this is the login page. Next, you need to try logging in one time yourself manually, and then you need to observe this network tab. I'm on Chrome, so uh, this is what it looks like, the inspect element. You guys can do the, the same thing for whatever browser that you're using, All right? Now, keep this open, keep this network tab open, and then log in. Now, quotes to scrape is a dummy website, so anything that I put over here is going to login okay now i'm going to click login and we're going to observe the files that get sent over here all right so this is the one that we're interested in login we click on this and then we click on this payload tab the one over here and then we observe this data this is the data that goes into uh you know it goes as a request and logs us in there are three fields here there's a crf token which is basically for authentication purposes. There's a username field and a password field. All right. So this is these are the three pieces of information that this website requires in order for you to log in. Now back here, we're going to from Scrapey import form request. Then down here, yield the form request while calling the from response method on it. And in these parameters, you're going to pass in the first one, the response object that we received over here. And over here, we're going to pass in form data. This is basically the data that we're going to be sending to, you know, the website to automate a login. Username, colon, coders legacy. I'm just entering random username and passwords over here because this is a dummy website. But if you are logging into like Facebook or something, then you're going to want to use your actual username and password. OK, so we got two fields. We need the third, the third one, the CRF token. For that, we're going to scan through our response object, which should contain the CRF token. So over here, I'll do slash slash, then asterisk. And then over here, name is equal to uh, CSRF token. This basically scans through all of the objects inside, you know, the response object and then looks for one which has this attribute. And then we're going to retrieve the value from it using the slash at value, you know, parameter. Now, come down here and add the CRF token in here, CSRF token, then CSRF token. And just to confirm, we're gonna print out the CRF token. Oh, and I almost forgot, you need to call the get function over here. Now print out the CRF token and there still seems to be something, oh, there, okay. Now, this is still missing one thing. Right now, we are using this parse function to automate a login. But what about the actual parsing? Where's the actual parsing logic? For that, you're going to pass in a new parameter. Callback is equal to self.parse after login. And in here, you're going to create this new function. All right. And give it the same parameters as the, uh, as a regular parse function. And then over here, you're going to put in the actual logic that you want to do, the actual parsing that you want to do on the logged in page. Okay. So for example, um, if once I log in, I'm going to end up over here, or at least this is where I expect to end up. Okay. The home page. 
So from here, I'm going to do uh, response.css. And then if I remember correctly, uh, let me just scrape something. Uh, how about this? Let's scrape this. Okay. Now I'll tell you there's actually a very good reason behind why I'm scraping this. You'll understand that in a minute. Okay. It's a div and inside this div, there's a class called call MD4. Okay. Now I'll come here and say div. Then, uh, how, how do we do this again in here? Uh, right. Call MD4. And then we'll do uh, p this text. All right, status. All right, and then we'll print out this status. Now again, I'm gonna explain all this code. I kind of needed to write all of this out to actually explain it, so that's why I did that. Now we're gonna run this, and you'll see what happens. And then I'll explain why exactly we got this result. Okay, there's our CRF token. See, now it's scraping the page. Now let's uh, see. Okay, it looks all right. What is this? This is the status. Huh, not exactly what I was expecting. P and HRF and the logout. Okay, hold on. Um, I should 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 have done it like this, uh, the paragraph tag, and then this. Okay. Now let's try this again. And again, I'll explain what I'm doing here in a minute. Just need to verify that this is working the way I want it to. All right. This is better. I'm getting the data right there. All right, great. Now let me explain what's going on. And I need to do dot get over here to actually get that text over here. Now here's the thing. Whenever you log into a page, then you need a way to actually identify that you've logged in. Normally when we log in, we can just see, right, that we logged in because uh, the page changes and we get re redirected to a new page. But how does, how does Scrapey know? How does Scrapey know that we logged in successfully? So what you need to do is come up with a way, you need to find some kind of element inside the window that changes whether you're logged in or not. It represents whether you're logged in or not. For example, I'm logged in right now. So this says log out. But if I log out right now, this is gonna say log in. So this is actually a very good indicator of how, whether we're logged in or not. So what we can do now is scan this Okay, that's what I was doing. I was scraping this over here. I was scraping this from this div and this href. And if this is, if this is, if status is equal to login, is that a capital L or yeah, it's a capital L. So if it's this, then that means that login failed. Else, if status is equal to log out, then wait, sorry. Then our login was successful. See, this is this was the point, and if the login was successful, then you can go on and continue parsing the page how however you want to, like you would normally. All right. So this is basically how you can automate logins in Scrapey. Now, what I taught you in this video was kind of specific to this website. In a sense, every website is going to be a little bit different, but the steps remain the same. You need to go through the website, find their login page first, start with the login page. Okay. In the start URLs, then you need to uh, identify the form data. Then you need to make sure that you send out a form request, which contains all of that form data and then you find a way to verify whether you're logged in or not, and then you continue parsing the page if you are logged in successfully, all right? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more content like this in the future, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys in a later video.